Welcome back to 4 Fun Bros and today we're doing a little bit different video. We're going to build an ice chest AC system. Let's go over the parts overview. We're using a Coleman box. We had it for 15 years, finally going to use it for something else I guess. We got two PVC pipes, two and a half inch diameter, obviously as you see bent at a 90 degree angle. Next we have an 18 piece carbon steel hole saw set. So this is going to be our first time using this set. And you got 18 pieces so you can match up the diameter of the hole size that you need. So we have one smaller one already pre-matched and obviously you're going to need a drill to attach it to. Here's the largest one I believe and we already pre-matched it to the fans. We're going to be using two computer fans. These are 140 millimeters, 25 millimeter case. They're 12 volt direct current. And the main thing is you need ball bearing, which they are. This is going to be a direct current, a speed controller for the fans. We've got two Phillips screwdrivers, one bigger one, one smaller one to get the screws into the fans and the speed controller. We're going to be using a car battery, which is a 12 volt. You could use other powering devices as it's pretty easy. We got two wires with alligator clips, it's an 18 gauge. We got eight screws for the longer ones and four smaller screws. So here you have it and let's proceed and start the project. Alright so the first thing we're going to do is just outline the circles of the diameters of the PVC pipe like so. We're doing this by eye the best we can. So it looks okay but it's not going to be perfectly measured out. As you can see the drill bit goes in first and then the wheel starts cutting into the cooler. We immediately found out that this is actually a perfect method for this cooler and works quite well. So we're going to drill the second one as you can see, drill goes in the bit and then the wheel starts cutting into the cooler box. The little disc of plastic do get stuck so you're going to have to get them out. Just be careful when you get them out, don't hurt yourself. This card of the wheels is so. Clean up a little bit and get your pipes inside. Here we are, just gonna show you how it kinda goes on. Here's the bigger wheel set. Got the rectangular piece, put it in. Get the nipple showing on the other side. Get your drill bit, put it in as so. Once it's inside, you get your nut and secure it as best as you can doesn't have to be torqued down real crazy we're just gonna do a finger tight as much as we can and that's a-okay once you got that whole set on you just put it onto your drill and you're good to cutting again we're gonna pre-match the fans and we're gonna start cutting the circles so for the first hole as you can see it's a double layer cooler so you're gonna cut the first layer once you cut that first layer, you get your dribble out and we are going to use a knife and just cut that first layer out. Once we get that first layer out, we're going to proceed again and cut that second layer off with the same technique. You may want somebody to hold your cooler as you can see, it could move around. Pre-matching the second fan. Here you see the first layer and then the second layer. If you're liking what you're seeing, please give us a thumbs up button. And if you got any questions or concerns, just drop them down in the comment section below. Alright, so let's take a peek and see how the fans are sitting with the box. So as you can see, the pre-drilled holes are a little bit smaller than the fan itself, which is actually perfect. So we're going to go ahead and get the 8 longer screws, and we're going to put it through the whole fan assembly. The fans that we are actually using, they're 0 0.60 amps at 153 CFM. So we used a little bit stronger, but nothing crazy, and nothing too little. 
To tighten the screws, we're using the Phillips screwdriver. Don't need it super tight, but get it nice, tight, and secured. Here we are installing the second fan to the cooler, getting it secured. We got the two wires from each fan coming through the middle of both fans where they meet. So the four wires are just coming out as so. Make sure you don't pinch them when you're screwing in the screws. Again, they don't have to be super tight, but get them as tight and secured as you can without over tightening is the main objective. So on your speed control, you're gonna have a power negative and a power positive. These are gonna be coming off your battery. You got a motor positive and a motor negative, and these are gonna be coming off the fans. On the other side right there, you see, that's the slots where the wires are gonna go into. So we're gonna have two fans and we're gonna have two negatives. They're both separate, but they're going into the motor negative both together. Once you insert them into the slot, get your Phillips screwdriver, the smaller one, and get it nice and secured. Now we're doing the positive, both of them again from the fans, inserting into the motor positive. This is going to be the power coming off from the battery and we're going to do it to the power positive. Get it into the slot and secure it with your Phillips screwdriver. Get the negative from the battery and put it into the power negative. Get them all secured and make sure the wires are not touching each other. So you don't have any shorts. Now we're going to have the little screws and we're going to secure the speed controller to the cooler box. Our method was going to be to just simply use it on top like that. We get your PVC pipes, we're going to get them snugly and fit using a little bit of electrical tape. Need a little more, so just keep winding until you get it nice and tight as so. The other side, same exact thing. For your convenience, if you want to check it out and see exactly what we bought and where we bought it for how much, the price of each little part that we used, you can just check it out in the description box. I'll drop down the link below and just click and see what we used. Thanks for watching again. If you like what you see, please subscribe, give us a like, and if you got any questions again, just leave them in the comment section. Now let's see how my pops reacts to this whole setup. Let's see how it's worked. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is... I never seen this before. Okay, this is mi minimum. Okay, we do maximum. Oh, man. See, watch, watch. Hey, guys, don't keep your umbrella open. It. You're gonna be... Go up, up, up. With this blow okay this is maximum oh man it's gonna be fullest room in the on the planet i believe let's see one more time okay now up 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 up, 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 that's it. <laughs> Show how far maybe it goes where you feel. You still feel nice. it from there? Good? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good job, guys. Good job. Hopefully I like it. I like it a lot. I will try in my van. New condition. Brand new. New design. And you can move these, yeah? You can move this one. 
any way you if want. It goes blows up more than down. Any way, any way, <clears throat> like this. Well, you can buy some holes, put it over here, and go somewhere. Maybe second floor. <laughs> okay, guys. But now, see, we open it. It's no ice now. It's gonna be ice over here soon. See, I like it. I cannot believe I can finish this. <laughs>